So in today's video, we have a nice little Lego story for you. I hope that excites you. We're going to be talking about how to get pre-released Lego sets early, just because I know a lot of you are having trouble picking up these sets when you do see them on the shelves at your local Targets or even Walmarts. Uh, I know this is going to vary per country. Uh, so uh, to give it away a little bit, I am currently in the Midwest in the United States at this point of time. And I was able to pick up this new Lego Star Wars set on the shelves early. Now it does have a damaged box if you want to take a look at it a little bit better, uh, but it is set number 75348, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus the TIE Interceptor. Now it's not available until May 1st officially from the LEGO website, and it's street dated across uh, Targets and Walmarts nationwide. But essentially guys, one of the biggest tips to pick up this set uh, early is to use the self checkout aisle. So like there's many tactics that you're going to have to go through and like different loopholes you're going to have to test out uh, if you want to get one of these sets early and uh, you know an employee is giving you a hard time. Uh, so I just kind of want to briefly talk about it. Is this wrong? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe maybe against your morals it might be. Um, we know this set does not release till May 1st and we know it's not supposed to be bought until May 1st but do we want it early? Absolutely. Is it right? I don't know, right? That's a that's a question I kind of want to leave open-ended with you guys. But uh, again, some of the tactics are uh, you go to the self-checkout aisle. And I know people scan this item and it still says this has a street date, you know, see a clerk. Uh, but sometimes you do get lucky. And that's kind of one of the biggest factors here is you do have to get a little bit fortunate. Uh, I don't have luck, right? If I if I believed in luck, it would it would be bad luck, right? That's like the only luck I have. Uh, so I, I don't believe in luck, uh, but you just have to have a little bit of fortune and you have to keep trying because uh, this was not the first time I tried to scan one of these and found one. Uh, this just so happened to be one that I picked up. Uh, and on top of it, to make this a little bit more difficult, it had a uh, in-store scanner around it. So no matter what, I had to get an, a Target employee uh, to get this set uh, to unwrap uh, that little sensor, but I did this in a very unique way. So I actually purchased this Lego set uh, with the, the the scanner, this security scanner, what are they called? I don't know, the security bins that wraps it around. And I purchased that set, got the receipt, went to customer service with it, uh, instead of waiting for an employee to help me out there at the cash register. And I went to these, that the security, their the checkout thing over there, the little help desk, right, at Target. And I said, uh, hey, can you take off this security tag? I paid for it. I didn't want to hold up the line, so and no one was over there. Uh, so I brought it over here to take it off. And they had no problem. He did it in two seconds. Looked at, he didn't even look at my receipt, uh, but essentially, I'm assuming they'll look at your receipt. Uh, and he, he did it and said, okay, have a great day. So that was it. And I did pay retail for this, so it was $100. So after tax, I don't know, $107, I have to find the receipt, but uh, it, it was retail. There's no deal on it, right? It's a brand new set pre-release. You're not going to find a deal on it at most, uh, aside from paying 5% less through Target Red Card, right? Uh, but anyways, that is one really good tactic to kind of avoid any problems. Go to your self-checkout. If it's wrapped in a security uh, tag thing, uh, buy it first, then go to the help desk and have it take off. I, I know that's kind of doing a lot, but it worked for me. And if this helps someone uh, get an idea kind of to go around some of the rules, rules are meant to be broken, right? <laughs> if it helps you go around to some of the rules, uh, hopefully this video helps you uh, because that was one way and one tactic I was able to pick this up early. Uh, and I know Walmarts are a little bit different, right? I know people have had a difficult time at Walmart uh, because it says the same thing, street dated uh, and see a service clerk or whatever. Uh, but one of the other tips I would recommend is buying a couple other products with this purchase for some other reason, some weird reason, it kind of, I, what I, to my understanding and seeing other people's arguments about this, uh, is it kind of throws the system for a little loop and it lets, it just, it doesn't ask for a service clerk for whatever reason. So try that out, that might help you. But I know this is probably a really interesting video and interesting tactics to pick up some of these sets. But again, I wanna leave the floor open in this video to see what you guys think. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to say is I'm really excited for this, this set. Uh, it's a really cool set. and. I know it's a little 
probably high on the price point at $100, and this is not something I normally do, but I am going to build this and review it uh, and try to start do some early LEGO reviews for you guys on this channel, uh, just because I do feel like it would be kind of exciting. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I am excited to build this because who doesn't like a pre-release LEGO set? It feels good, right? Uh, and knowing the whole world doesn't have it yet. <laughs> so it's kind of exciting stuff. But in all the sense, this is a really good one uh, on top of it to get. If it was just a, I'll be honest, if it was a different set that I wasn't as interested in, I would have not picked it up. So super excited for this one. Again, guys, I'm going to keep it nice, short and sweet. That was kind of my experience, my story. Uh, it was thrilling, exciting to kind of like go through a target store and be like okay are, am i gonna get accepted is this gonna not get accepted it, it was pretty fun it was a fun way to play the game right so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed my little story and hopefully some helpful tactics to pick up some early pre-release lego sets if you ever encounter them in stores uh now again your miles may vary don't go out and spend all of your time looking for pre-release lego sets uh it, it, it just kind of varies, right? You kind of got to get fortunate and walk into the store, check those aisles uh, and hopefully find some. But best of luck to you all. We'll see you May 1st for a live stream shopping and we can actually buy some real real release Lego sets May 1st shopping live with you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll spend some money with you guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Priestel. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.